Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Keftendo and today I'm going to be trying a different video. So I found a world, I found an overlord world that, um, and I just found new avatars just as I like right before I started recording. I found a world that has pretty much, it seems like it has all the important avatars from overlord. And what I'm going to do with today's video, and again, I'm going to try this out because I could also try it out for other worlds as well. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to show off all the avatars in this <laughs> in this one video so it'll be a longer video but i'll try to timestamp where all the avatars are so that if you're looking for a certain avatar from this world you can just scroll through the timestamps and find the avatar you're looking for so the world we're in today is this world called the great tomb of nazarick by mrd fallout now uh over here to the left you can see they have their own discord thing over to the right they have pictures of them i, I assume it's them with their friends uh or just screenshots i don't know <laughs> but in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the overlord avatars again like i said i found new avatars so so far in this world they have the pallades avatars they have the lizard men avatars and i just found all the other avatars as well i didn't realize it so directly behind me is this little picture i'll go ahead and turn the camera around so we can go over there together I just found this picture here. Well, I mean, I saw it the first time, but I didn't realize it was interactable. So I didn't realize I could click on it. But if you go over here and you go to click on it, you can click and open up avatars. And then it loads all these different avatars here. I don't know what this one is. I don't, I, don't, I think that's, this isn't an overlord avatar. Yeah, so I, and I just got done rewatching season one again. So, uh... Aww, <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> it's a little cat. But yeah, so they have all the different avatars here and then these are those ones here. So I'll go ahead and I'll start showing them off. So it wouldn't be an Overlord video if we didn't show off Ain's Ool gown. Now his mouth doesn't seem to move though. His mouth like moves every once in a while. Oh, I think it's when I'm walking. I don't know, that's weird. But his mouth just seems to move every once in a while. Now I can summon his staff and I can do some sort of magic spell, but it doesn't do anything other than just like show the little circle on the floor and that's all it seems to do it <laughs> i can't seem to cast anything else with it so it's more just like a model with just the spell casting animation and he has the the staff there as well um he doesn't have any emotes i can i see the little thumb ring <laughs> where are you guys there you are I see a little the, like all the rings on his finger oh i just saw that yeah here's the uh that wishing star whatever shooting star st whatever it was i just saw him use that i just got done re-watching season one so i just saw him try to use that so <laughs> if you haven't watched it go watch it but yeah so that seems to be about it for ains wool gown himself now i can sit here ah perfect <laughs> but that seems to be it for ains wool gown and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next one Next we have Albedo, which which I was looking for this avatar. Uh, I showed the the armored version, and I see that they have an armored version here as well, like back there. Uh, so they have her as well. Man, I'm I'm just really surprised. I wasn't expecting because <laughs> I was running around this world looking for these avatars. I'm like, oh, they only have the Pleiades and they only have the Lizard Men. I hope they maybe add more, but it looks like they already have all of them. <laughs> but yeah, so here's Albedo. Now I don't think she doesn't seem to be doing anything then again you don't really see her do anything at least in this form uh no emotes either so it's more just a model but if you're looking for the model as well here she is next up we have the armored albedo now i think this one looks it shows up a lot better you know i think the other one was still like a little too dark but this one shows up a lot better also this one I don't remember if the last one had it, but this one has her weapon as well, her halberd. But yeah, so here we have the armored version, and it doesn't seem to be able to do anything else, which is fine, um, because I, I would say probably people looking for these avatars are more so going to be looking for the, you know, the different versions of them. And like I said, it doesn't do anything, doesn't have any extra emotes, and I don't think any of them are going to, but I'll check with each one as well. But I really like these models. So here's the Armored Albedo version, and it seems like since you can't really do anything else, that's about it for this avatar. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Wait, where are you? There you are. <laughs> next up, we have Shaltir Bloodfallen. And I was trying to see on the way here. Again, I don't think a lot of these avatars are going to have emotes. It doesn't seem like she has any either. Uh, 
No, it doesn't seem like it. And we'll check the emotes as well. Nope, no emotes either. So a lot of these seem to be more just like the models, but that's fine. <laughs> that's that's perfectly fine. So here's Shaltair, Blood Fallen, and they do have the other one. They have her in her armored version as well. And I'll be showing you guys that one as well. Let's see if there's anything else I can do before then. <laughs> no, it looks like that's it for her. <laughs> Next up, we have Shaltier in her armored version. I don't know what this form is called. I just say armored version because they're wearing armor. And uh, it doesn't seem like she has anything except for her weapon. Oh, wait. Did I see? Oh. Oh no. I was looking up above her because again, I just finished season one again. And normally when there was like blood, it was like formulating into like an orb up above her, but there is no orb up above me. So I guess this is just one of the emo. <laughs> the yeah, <laughs> woo. But yeah, so there's that. And that stops when I do that. So does she have anything else? Oh, oh, she just has blood that squirts out of her weapon. But yeah, so here's her weapon, and the way her weapon works was, uh, you know, she heals based off of, like, you know, the amount of damage she does to her, to her opponent, so, you know, I, I, I guess, I guess she's a tank. <laughs> I don't know. But that's what they said in the anime, so apparently her weapon is capable of basically lifesteal, so she can hit them with it, and then she gets health back. Now, the lighting here makes her mouth look, like, a lot wider than it actually is. But that's just, like, the lighting here, but yeah. I don't know. I like this one. Again, I'm I'm still surprised. You know, I was not expecting this. <laughs> so next on the list we have Demiurg. Oh, does his mouth go? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's usually when you see him. He's got like just this big grin on his face. Now, oh, he does have the gem eyes. Okay, I was gonna say I I hope that they would add it, but it seems so far they've been. Uh, what, should I say more faithfully recreating him? I guess so. <laughs> he just looks so smug. <laughs> but yeah, so we have him. He's got his tail as well. Now, um, I was trying to see what I could do. Oh, he can put on the mask. There we go. So he can wear the mask. And then he can also... Well, I guess I have two of them. Uh, he could take it off, I guess, as well. Yeah. <laughs> I did see that, you know, he does have a transformation. He's like some weird lizard creature thingy or whatever. Uh, so there's that, but it doesn't seem like he can do anything like that. That would be another cool thing if you just had the... Oops, I pointed. <laughs> if, if he had like some sort of 3.0 transformation thing, that would be pretty cool. But here's Demiurg if you're looking for him as well. Next on the list. Oh, this one's a big one. <laughs> I gotta reposition the camera. So next up we have Cocutus. Now he has his weapon. Does he have anything? Oh, I thought I just saw his mandibles closed, but I guess I didn't. He doesn't seem to have any, oh, he has the katana as well. I'm trying to remember, where did, where did I see him do that? Is that season two he does this? Either way, this is a cool one. This is one of the ones I was looking for as well. He looks like the Pokemon. <laughs> any emotes? Uh, he's got this. Oh wait, no, that, that's the SARS. I screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> so next up we have Sebus, and it doesn't seem like he is able to do anything. But then again, I know for he does not use any weapons, so I, he wouldn't have anything. Uh, I don't even think he uses anything special. He's just raw power. Whatcha? <laughs> So it doesn't seem like he's able to do anything. Uh, and then emotes, and I've been checking each one, and so far, each one, it does seem like none of them have any emotes. But again, that's fine, because I would say most people are just going to be looking for the avatar. So here's Sebus if you're looking for him. So next up we have Aura. Now, I've been hearing her do some whistle thing. Oh, she's got the whip sword. Oh, that's actually, that's really fun. You know, I've, I found I found the uh, the dragon from Dragon Ball, like the great the wish dragon thing. Oh, that's so fun! Look at this. <laughs> that's so cool. And like the dragon could kind of do something like this, but not not exactly, just because it moved weird. Oh, that's so cool. I like this. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Sorry, back to the avatar. <laughs> she has some sort of whistle thing. I guess? I don't know. Is that... 
What did she do that for? She whistled at some point. But sorry, I'm just so distracted by this. This is like, okay, you know what? This is the coolest avatar here. I don't care what you guys say. This is cool. Just look at this. Look at that. <laughs> look at it go. Okay, anything else that she can do? Hmm. No, just the whistle. Oh, she can whistle with both. Oh, is this supposed to be a Hunger Games thing or something? I can't get over this. I'm, I'm probably going to favorite this avatar just because that, that that's just so much fun. <laughs> this is this is awesome. Next up, we have Mare or Mare, <laughs> which is uh, Aura's brother. Now, um, if you don't know about those two, they're like, I think they're twins, but I'm not sure which one's older or not. But basically, the sister is dressed up like a boy, and the and the brother is dressed up like a girl, just because that's how they were designed. Also, like I think their eyes are alternate, like uh, how what is this? This is my right eye. Yeah, this is my right eye. That's my left eye. So for Aura, they're like swap. Oh, jeez, <laughs> they're swapped. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, she doesn't seem to be able to. She he doesn't seem to be able to do anything other than pull out his staff, but he can't cast any no, God, please, no. I'm trying <laughs> so that seems to be it for Mare or Mare so uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one so next up we have Pandora's actor now it doesn't seem like he's able to do anything but this is basically their treasurer for the guild and they do have the treasure whoops they do have the treasure room as well that's one of these rooms over here that has the um uh, I think it's the room on the left that has the treasure room. I forgot what the room on the right was. And then they also have like a bunch of rooms everywhere else. Like room up there, room up there, room up there, and room up there. So basically this is also like a good roleplay uh, world if you're looking for overlord roleplay. Go ahead. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> so here's Pandora's actor and it doesn't seem like he's able to do anything other than uh, this. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that and about it <laughs> now I'm not sure if this one has a name or not this is basically Pandora's actors little I'm pretty sure I've seen the little cat thing with them but I'm not sure if it has a name or not so I'll have to look that up I don't know but here's the little cat guy if you're looking for him <laughs> so next up we have uh, I'm gonna try this <laughs> pit Pararoncino Pararoncino Pararon you know, Paro we'll call him Paro <laughs> Parasino is what we're calling there we go, that's a lot easier. <laughs> here, Paracino. So here we have Paracino, <laughs> if, if, if that's what we're going with. Um, it doesn't seem like he has anything, but this is apparently, is this the person? I think they said that this is the person that made Shaltier, or Shalatier. I think this is the person who made her, but this is also the person who uses that the bow thing he uses in season one. But basically, this is one of the other players. This was like one of the other guild members uh, from the show. Or the actual like players, like the actual like human players, the same as like Ains, but or Ains, but uh, one of the people who left. So basically, this was one of the actual human players or whatever. Uh, I don't. What is he? I guess he's just a bird man. But he doesn't seem to have anything. He doesn't have the bow either. Wait, maybe in the emotes? No, none of them have the emotes. But yeah, so he doesn't have the bow. But this is basically, I believe this is the person who made Shalatir. Um, and then he has, <laughs> he has the bow. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> That's probably wrong. You'll tell me. You will. I'm sure you will. And next up is the last one we have from that from that first room. We have the first categories done. But here we have the Death Knight. Now, am I as big as the other Death Knights? No, I'm smaller than that. Why are these ones so huge? I'm like half of its size. Come over here and look at this. Little freaking... Where, where's the front of him? Look at this! Why am I so small? <laughs> what is this? What? I'm, I'm like a mini-me. Even the sword's bigger. <laughs> what the? It's unfair. So the last one we have is the Death Knight, and it is smaller. Um, I don't know how big it is in comparison to the other characters. I have had to change the camera height a couple of times, so I assume he's probably one of the bigger ones. Uh, maybe not as big as Kakitis or whatever, but uh, he's there. 
Now, uh, his only abilities seem to be able to... Why are his shoulder pads fluttering? What the heck? He's no beetle. Oh, his mouth moves! <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, so that wraps it up for the first section of avatars. Now, there's still probably about maybe 12 more avatars. We still have the lizard men and the Pleiades left to go to, and I'll show you guys where to go to find those ones as well. All right, everyone, so next up what we have is we're gonna do the Pleiades next. Um, and to do so, you'll go ahead and, you know, all the way back there, that's the that's the starting area. And then you, what you'll do is you'll head all the way over to the throne and then head over to the door on the left. I believe it was the door on the left. And then you'll interact with it and it'll bring you to the treasury. Now, once you're here in the treasury, uh, there's nothing straight ahead. Over to the left are lizard men, and over to the right are the Pleiades. And there is a little teleporter here on the table. Oh, there's the little cat thingy. There he is. <laughs> in a Rubik's Cube. Uh, but then there's this ring here, which you will use to teleport, and that'll bring you to the treasury. But there's nothing in the treasury. So, uh... All right. <laughs> yeah, so over here to the left are the, if right there, the Pleiades, Pleiades, the Pleiades. I, I'll say it, I'll, <laughs> I'll say it right eventually. And then over here, you'll see all the different Pleiades. So to start off, we have the deputy leader of the Pleiades, uh, Yuri Alpha. Now, she doesn't seem to do anything. Not that I can see. It doesn't seem like she has anything e any emotes nope no emotes huh <laughs> so here we have their deputy leader of the pleiades so if you're looking for her go ahead and head over there and check it out next up and i can do this one without looking it up this one's solution because i again i just watched the show <laughs> so i know that much now when it comes to like the pleiades in this world uh i feel like their their faces are weirdly like shaped you know, I, I, I think it's just they got like huge forehead and then like like their eyes go lower than half of their face, which makes it look kind of weird to me. I don't know. But then again, also the lighting, uh, if it were brighter, you could see them better, I think. But anyways, here's Solution from the Pleiades. Now, she doesn't seem to have any weapons and I completely forgot, you know, pretty much everything. So that's why I'm re-watching it. And she hasn't done anything except like absorb someone like she's some sort of slime monster or something. But yeah, so here's Solution from the Pleiades. And then we'll go ahead and show you the next one. Next up, we have Narborol Gamma, uh, the the Nabe one. I, oh, that would be cool if they had that one. The one who travels around as the adventurer, like that outfit. I think that would be pretty cool. But again, um... The faces, I, I still feel like the faces just look weird with these ones, just because it's just so, I don't know. It's just so like, their faces are small. And then like, the face looks old too. All right, I'll back up. <laughs> don't don't want to ruin your dreams. <laughs> but yeah, so here we have Narborol Gamma, and she has her scepter. Can she cast any spells? No, I do like her outfit. I liked like the little metal, the little metal pieces, like like down the center and down the sides. I do like that. Looks like she could roll down a hill. <laughs> those little cats. Are those little, those little tiny cats. I'm gonna say those are cats. Those little gold things. I'm just gonna say that those are little cats. That's what we're gonna go with. But yeah. So here's Narborol Gamma. Uh, let me get this. One. Let me get this one in one go. Lupus Regina. Oh crap. <laughs> beta. Is it beta? Is that what it says? Beta. Okay. So here we have Lupus Regina Beta. Now, out of all the other Pleiades, I wish they made the rest of them look like this. Because this looks perfect. Like, this looks perfect. You know, the other ones look weird for some reason, but this one looks normal. I don't know why. Um, and I don't know what kind of weapon this is. I'm assuming it's like a mace or something. But like, yeah, like this one looks perfectly fine so i don't know why the other ones look so different i don't know but this one looks really good so here's this one here uh lupus regina beta <laughs> nice got it <laughs> so here's this one here she can summon her weapon but she doesn't seem to be able to do anything else also her hands are just like well they just look really tiny to me I mean, like, those just look like really tiny, but I guess they look normal compared to the size of her head, so maybe it's fine. <laughs> 
So here's Lupus Regina and we have two more to show you. Okay, so now this one I really gotta look up. <laughs> so this one is CZ2128 Delta. I'm, I'm looking this up because <laughs> I'm not remembering that. But here we have CZ, tw whatever it was, Delta. <laughs> now, does she have her gun? Oh, she does have her gun. Sweet. <laughs> so I remember this one. This one, this one should not be in medieval times. That that's that's unfair. This 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 weapon alone should make her overpowered. Like I don't understand why she's not like the strongest. Cause I mean clearly just this alone, pew pew. And <laughs> what's your magic gonna do? Pew pew. <laughs> and like I said again, like with the faces, they just. This one's smoothed out though. Like this one's like a lot more smoothed out than the than the Narborall one, but even so they still look I don't know. And again it might just be the the lighting as well. So I don't know. But I I, I still like this one. All right, so next up is Entoma Entoma Entoma. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the last of the Pleiades they have here is Entoma Va Vasilisa Zeta. Is it Zeta? Is that how you pronounce that one? Not Zeta. It's Zeta. I think I think people say Zeta because it's it's like Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Zeta. I think it's Zeta. So if, if you don't know who this character is, cover your eyes. <laughs> but yeah, so this character is basically just like the ant character. Pretty much the only one that's not. Well, they're not. They're not all. None of them are human. I don't know, but she's basically like an ant. So uh, I have seen this one avatar before um, when I came to the world. So she can transform. There she is. So she can transform into like her little insect bug thingy whoa those are a lot bigger than i thought they were i wish i could move them though but yeah so there's that and then she, other than that I, that's pretty much all she's got but even so i mean oof yeah <laughs> you should just have her in a horror map just like sit there when someone gets close just like whooshing <laughs> she do anything oh she winked how did she wink how did i do that there we go <laughs> so this is the last of the Pallades, and then all that's left, again, that I've seen in this world, all that is left is the lizard men, and there's like five or six of them. So we'll go ahead and show you guys those ones next. So again, like I said, once you go to the treasure room, over to the right is the Pallades, and then all the way over here to the left are the lizard man avatars. Now you can see they, oh, they have six of them. So when it comes to the lizard men, I think that these are probably the best made ones uh, out of all the other avatars, and they don't need any special sort of lighting. Oh, his tail! Look at that! <laughs> Look at a wiggle! Oh, that's that's fun! <laughs> Look at this! Look at his tail! I haven't seen that before. I've seen the avatar, but I never looked at like the back. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> Alright, I gotta stop. I'm gonna end up playing with it all the time. <laughs> so here we have Zariushu Shasha. <laughs> I, I have to look up all of these. <laughs> oh, does he have... Oh, oh, he does have bandages on his arm. Okay, I, I wonder if this is after the fight. Man, the lizard man... The tail itself is just so cool. Look at this. <laughs> but yeah, so here we have Zariusu. So uh, if you're looking for this one, go ahead and check this one out. Now, he doesn't have his... He doesn't have his weapon, though. But, you know, that's fine, you know, and, and even then, even when it comes to VR chat as a whole, I, I haven't seen any lizard men that look better than this. So even if you're not looking for an overlord character, if you're just looking for a lizard man or like a beast man avatar or whatever, go ahead and check out this world as well, because I mean, like it doesn't get any better than this. Next up, we have, oh, what did that say? Krush? Krush? Krush Lulu is the name of this one. So next up we have Krush Lulu. Now she doesn't, well she doesn't do anything in the anime either. So <laughs> I guess that's fine that she can't, you know, do anything, but that's fine. Does her tail do it? Oh, it, it only a little bit. No, that's not as cool. Nah, nah fam, nah. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're looking for the Krush one, here's, this is the only female lizard man, lizard woman, I guess, <laughs> that they have here. So, um, if you're looking for a female one as well, go ahead and check this one out. Right, they did give her bigger eyes, didn't they? Let's see. No, nothing. The only cool thing is this. Hiya! 
<laughs> All right, so next up we got Big Chong is here. Oh, he is. <laughs> what is that? Is that straw? No, that's not straw on his back. What is on his back? What is he carrying? Oh, it's like part of his clothes or whatever. All right. Well, next up we have Shashu. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shas Shasuryu Shasha. Shasuryu Shasha. Man, my goodness, say that ten times fast. Shashuri or Shasha? Shashuri. <laughs> I don't remember that. Is this the brother to the other one? Because they have the same name. I'm trying to remember if they like took his name. But man, I really like these lizard men. Now this one's tail is the, this one's tail is between. I don't know why we're doing a tail rating here, but <laughs> but this one's tail is you know it's in between the first lizard man and the second lizard girl I showed you. So his is better than the lizard girls, but the first one is, that's definitely the best. So we have him, this is the huge one as well, the big armored one. Now I think it's just the mesh for the, uh, um, the straw cloak thing he wears. I think that's just messed up. That's why it looks like that. So, uh, if you're, there you go. <laughs> I found a bug, I guess. <laughs> All right, so you know how I said the last one was Big Chongus? This one's like Bigger Chongus. <laughs> oh, look like someone's ranking up on the tail list. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, so this one's Bigger Chongus. Uh, what, what did it say his name was? Let me look at that. Let me look that up. Zenbaru Guga or Juja. Guga Juja. Oh, he's got like little buck teeth. Little, 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 look at this nerd. Look at this, look at this dude. dude. <laughs> but yeah, so here's the... I guess this is probably the biggest one, and I don't know, I don't remember why, I think he was just born that way, he was just deformed or something, but you know, it's just his right arm's way bigger than his left arm. I mean, look at that. <laughs> oh, he's missing a finger! Oh, that's cool that they, oh, that's actually really cool, I, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out about that. <laughs> that's actually really cool that they added that. This is what I mean, like, they're staying more, like, not true to form, but like, they're staying more true to like how it actually happened. They didn't just like make a lizard man and then go like, yeah, it's him because it has the same colors. No, look, <laughs> it actually don't look. Censor that. So next up we have Kyuku Zuzu, which is the only out of all the other lizard men I've seen. And there's still one more to check as well. Uh, but out of all the other lizard men, this is the only one that seems to be affected by lighting or by the lighting in the world. But um, I don't remember what his role was. I thought he was like a magic user, but I I don't I don't know. He's, he looks like he's armor plated, so maybe he's not. I don't know. But we're gonna get to the tail rating. <laughs> don't you don't you worry. Hmm. It's got some potential. It's got potential. Yeah, it's got potential. I'll I rated a uh, like a, a six out of ten. There we go. A six out of ten. <laughs> Good job, Zuzu. <laughs> you got you got more than half credit. <laughs> and then last, but well, probably least, because I don't really know anyone who'd be like, yeah, that's the one I like. That yeah, out of all the other avatars, that's the yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so probably last, but also least, <laughs> is this lizard man. So let's see what his name is. All right, Sukiu Juju is this one's name. Now. Did they have lizard men that could like turn invisible? I don't know. I'll, I'll see it when I when I start watching season two, which I'll probably do after this. Uh, but I don't know. This can't be it. But yeah, so here's the last of lizard men, and well, he's got like giraffe prints on him. But we'll we'll do the tail rating. All right, let's see, let's see. What what's, what's? Oh wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. I, I can't. I can't. I can't turn quick enough to like get a get an accurate rating. Oh wait, we could do this. There we go. All right, I'm gonna give his tail rating. I'm gonna give him an. Mm, I'm gonna give him a seven and a half <laughs> out of ten. So uh, we got like a third place. I don't ever know what I rated the other ones, but the ones definitely first. But we're gonna we're gonna give him seven point five. We'll give him third place. And then we'll figure out who was who was actually second and first. Well, we know who was first. <laughs> but yeah, so that about sums it up for all the avatars in this world. Again, that I have seen. And I'll go back through and I'll try seeing if I can find any more avatars. But I think that's about it for this world. 
I don't know. <laughs> There's not really any others to show. So there it is. <laughs> so that's going to be it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys like the longer video. It shows more. I'll see how this one does and I might do it more in the future. Uh, cause then I'll be able to show more avatars a lot sooner as well. Uh, cause there's just so many avatars, but we'll just see how this one does. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and head over to the channel itself. I have a bunch of different playlists over there with a bunch of different anime avatars, video game avatars. So maybe you'll find something that you didn't know you were looking for. So that's it for today's video, everyone. And I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone. <laughs> He's looking at his, <laughs> his tongue.